All right, welcome to Balanced. And today you're gonna do a kettlebells workout. Now grab a kettlebell and get ready. Warm up set. You're gonna give me 20 of these swings. Keep your core super tight. Bend those knees, but keep your arms super straight. Engage your core and keep swinging that bell. Almost done with this set. You got this. Awesome. Now get ready to rest one minute. gonna do again kettlebell swings so get your swing and let's go 20 reps same as before now if it's possible try to keep the same weight this is still your warm-up be aware of your core so you're gonna squeeze those glutes on the way up and keep your core engaged. Look forward, don't look down. And keep going, don't give up on me. Almost there. Awesome job, rest. Grab your kettlebell and this time grab a heavier weight. And let's go for round three, 20 reps. Here we go. And since the weight is a little bit heavier now, I really need you to focus extra, extra mucho on your core. So again, Breathe in and out, in and out. Deep breaths, strong arms, bend those knees on the way down and hinge from your hip. Almost there, come on, good job. All right, rest. Alright, we're done with the warm-up set, so you're gonna keep the same weights. And if you feel that you need to lower the, the weight, you just go down back to your warm-up weight, no problem. 
So be mindful of your weight. We're gonna go for again kettlebell swings, but this time one-handed. So you're gonna give me five swings per hand times four. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Five, four, three, two, get ready, and switch. Again, five, come on, four, three, two, you got this, and switch. Last one now. Remember, keep that core tight, chest up, and we're almost done. Hey, good job. Okay, so how did you feel about that weight? Now, instead of doing five per arm, I just want you to do one per arm. So with this, remember and be mindful of the switches. So they are super controlled. Grab your weight, now let's go. And switch, and switch, and switch. So when you switch, keep the ball in the center we're engaged and just follow the kettlebell all the way down core tight squeeze the glutes on the way up and give me a big smile you can do this come on good job all right rest deadlift with two arms and you're gonna give me a lift so front lift to shoulder height all right grab that bell and let's go one are you gonna lift keep your core tight two straighten your back keep your knees locked down up and lift so you're gonna breathe for me. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathe in and out. So when you bend those knees on the way down, you keep that core super tight and your back straight. Keep looking forward. Come on, we're almost there. Yes, perfect. All right, rest one minute.
So as long as you feel that the weight is okay for you, keep working with the same weight. And now we're gonna do set two, the same thing, deadlift with a lift in front. So grab your bell. And let's go for set two. You do 10 to 12 reps, so you choose. Remember, core engaged and breathe out. Breathe in and out. So when you lift that kettlebell up, you really need to keep your core super tight, squeeze the glutes and keep those knees locked. Keep breathing. You're doing so good. Come on, you got this. Remember, this is your workout. Set the intention. Be mindful and stay positive. All right, you can do this. Come on, almost there. Perfect. Rest. Around. So next one is going to be a sumo deadlift. So you're going to open your feet super, super wide, like a sumo wrestler, basically. Here we go. Down. And now you switch the hand. Up, down, and switch. And as you can see, I'm keeping my back super straight. I'm really pushing my knees out to the side and I'm doing everything I can to open my hips. So like a sumo wrestler, stay strong. So breathe in, switch and out. Almost there. Few more, come on. Good job. Rest. one more set with the sumo squats so now make sure that you have those legs really really wide apart try your stance be sure to have the kettlebell in the center and we're gonna start Are you ready You're gonna give me 14 reps here we go down and up down and you're gonna switch up and down and switch remember those knees keep pushing them out to the side keep opening those hips and bring that belly button all the way in so you keep your core super tight make sure that you have a little pinch in the scapular region so you have a big open chest 
and keep your head up as much as possible. Come on, we're almost there. Keep breathing. Keep pushing. You got this, you got this. Perfect. Rest. kettlebell in front of you so make sure that you have the handle in the center so you can look straight through it now the front squat is with parallel feet position so hip width apart and we're gonna go for 10 reps grab the kettlebell make sure that it is centered make sure that you can see right through the handle and you're gonna go down and up so when you come down Try and put your elbows over your knees. It's like you're sitting down in a chair, but you have something in front of you that you need to hold centered. So keep that core engaged and squeeze the glutes on the way up. And do not let your shoulders collapse. Keep them there. Don't drop the ball. Keep your elbows up. There you go. Almost there. Yes. Perfect. Rest. gonna do another set of the front squats are you ready gonna give me 10 reps here we go we're gonna add a little lift to this as well so when you come up you lift the kettlebell over your head so you're gonna use the momentum of bringing yourself up to add yourself a little lift bring it up and elbows down to the knees and push it all the way up over your head and be mindful so you don't lift the shoulders so keep the shoulders in place up now keep your back straight as much as possible so you don't have to go down as to grass like we say find a position that works for you Almost there, you can do this. And we are done, rest. Superset 
of curtsy lunges from side to side. So you're going to start with the kettlebell on the side that you're going to do the curtsy. So you're going to go down and up and switch in the middle, down and up and switch. So the curtsy squat, you put the leg in back of you and you keep those legs tightly closed. Core engaged. Open the chest. Don't let it fall forward. Don't let the shoulders collapse. And try to keep that arm super straight when you go down in your curtsy. This is super super set so it means that this is the last thing you're gonna do so squeeze the last amount of energy that you have give it to me come on you're almost there you're almost done amazing short leg workout just for you here we go all right now in the end give me a huge smile you are Awesome. Thank you so much for working out with me and balanced. Have an awesome day.